Okay, this is a kitchen tip I meant to give out the other day, um, but I forgot. I bought a new can when I moved in here because, you know, I've had my old garbage cans for five, six years and they're plastic and I do wash them out, but I wanted a smaller one with a locking lid, a tight lid to keep fruit flies and, and insects away. I don't like that. So, um, this is just a little small one and... I found these, a package of two of these. These are giant, they're giant rubber bands, basically. Perhaps I should turn some light on. <laughs> anyway, um, now you can see it. It's a big rubber band. And they're good for all kinds of things. And I also use them, uh, I keep my really, really good main stone ground wheat flour in the refrigerator. And I use one of these rubber bands doubled up or tripled up to keep it shut tightly because tape doesn't last in the fridge it just comes right out the scotch tape um doesn't stick when it's cold um so if I, I i'm keeping a lot of my flour and sugar and stuff in the fridge right now because we have fruit flies <laughs> i don't like them and i found an, i got an old bottle of wine over here um used bottle of wine and i put some of my homemade stuff in it it's a uh, apple pumpkin spice wine you really can't taste the spices that much it's pretty good it's not too bad i had a little bit but i'm gonna let it mellow a little longer in the carboy because i racked it off last night but see all the fruit flies i put some of the old must with the wheat uh wheat, wheat yeast in it in this bottle and i stuck it over here by the window because that's um you know let's turn light on oh it doesn't work because it's not plugged in see <laughs> toaster everything I'm frustrated because of the lack of storage space here you want it to look nice I'm not Martha Stewart but dang <laughs> you know it's a mess I got boxes of stuff still to unpack this is all my yard sale stuff and I'm getting rid of some more stuff today I just went through I'm getting rid of my old Acer monitor because I have a laptop and I don't use the monitor. It was for my old Mac Mini, which I can plug into the laptop and use the monitor on there via a cable. And the only thing, the reason I'm keeping the Mini right now is to offload the rest of my photos. I had like almost 10 years of photos on that thing. And I would take and go through a couple months at a time transferring to um, an external hard drive. I have two external hard drives actually just to preserve my photos because I don't trust the cloud okay and in the Mac mini the the operating system is so old and you know so I've got a, a MacBook Pro and it's I got it used I got it off a of Craigslist really good deal and the guy um I bought it for his wife and she said it's too heavy and then he turned around and bought her a brand new Mac Air and he sold this one on Craigslist and it was you know upgraded and I think it's a $2,000, $2,400 machine. And Robert found it on Craigslist. I'm like, dude. He's like, let's go buy it. And I'm like, yes, because I was using this old, old Mac Mini. And, you know, it was my turn to get a new toy. Next time it'll be his turn. So we, we trade off. But when we, you know, this was a while ago. But I, I couldn't even function because my computer couldn't even visit most websites. So he said it's time. And we found something used last year and I was like yes so now I'm gonna get rid of some other stuff um, due to space issues and you know you use the money after moving all the expenses the hidden costs associated with moving there was a lot of hidden costs a lot and we didn't realize how much it would be just with his new commute and me going back and forth all the time to pack up the car and all of that it was just it was a lot more expensive than we thought it would be but you know, you just get through it, and then you, you start bouncing back and saving again. <laughs> but at least I have this, so I, I can't say I have any, first, you know, third world problems. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.